Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, this is the Mudget's Guide Service YouTube channel, if you didn't already know that. Uh, I'm Michael Mudget. So anyway, I was sitting on the boat today doing a little tackle prep, and I went to tie on this frog. And it's pretty beat up and everything. It's seen a lot of fish, which for up here is kind of rare. Usually uh, a, a northern ends up shredding them up or just steals them from you completely. But anyway, this one's seen a lot of bass, and I noticed that the hooks were starting to get a little bit dull. So I just figured I'd do a little video on how to change the hooks in a frog. It's actually really easy to do, and it's pretty quick to do it too. Uh, what you want to do, go ahead and tie your bait on, either do a, something on a rod, or if you have a, a piece of line, tie a toothpick up here so the, uh, the line doesn't go all the way through the bait when you go to pull it off. Um, and then all you got to do is pull the bait back, or pull the hook back to separate it from the bait. All right, there you got your hook with your welded eye. Then what you got to do is take your hook and spread the hook a little bit. So you can pull that back out of there. Might take a little bit of force to do it. That comes off pretty easy. All right. Then you got your replacement hook. I found out for uh, the Booyah Pad Crasher, a 4 out trocar is about the best size for your bait. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than stock, but it's not oversized for the bait. It's not going to get hung up on a bunch of stuff. So then you just take that hook, run it right back through the eye of there, do the same thing. Like I said, it's pretty easy. You just reverse it, spread the hook back out, and you're almost done. You just got to get your bait back up here. You just want to pull that right back through. Make sure you don't get your fingers caught on the hook. Uh, they can kind of pop through depending on how new your frog is, that hole on the bottom. This one's a little bit worn out, so it slides in a little bit easier. You just push it right up, pull with the line. And you just got to, a lot of times, rearrange your tails, which obviously you've done before, I'm sure, if you fished or a frog at all. So, there you go. Good as new, nice sharp hook, and uh, I can get a little bit more life out of this bait yet. We'll see how far it can go. So, thanks for stopping by, to, or thanks for stopping by today. Yeah, easy for me to say. Um, and taking the time to check out my video. If, you, if it helped you out at all, go ahead and click the like button down there so I know I'm helping somebody out. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay current on all my videos. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. God bless and good luck on the water.